Greetings and salutations. I'm Madison and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the items that have found their way into my wardrobe over the past six or seven months. So first I think I'm going to start with items that were gifted to me either by family members or by subscribers. This past Christmas, several subscribers were very generous and kind enough to send me a few Christmas parcels. So thank you, each and every one of you who did send me something this Christmas. First, I have these wonderful red suede platform sandals. These were a gift from my parents for Christmas. I specifically asked for these because I have a similar pair in black and I liked them so much that I wanted to stock up on some different colors. Obviously you have to be a little more aware and careful when you're wearing platform shoes but thankfully these have quite a bit of traction on the bottom so I'm not going to be slipping and sliding while wearing them. If you like these and want to purchase them as well I will leave a link in the description box below. I believe they're from Amazon and they're pretty reasonably priced. So if you want a classic 1930s, 1940s style sandal, be sure to check these out. My next Christmas gift was from a subscriber and she sent me this beautiful vintage fur hat. I'm not sure if it is real or faux fur, Either way, it is in beautiful condition. Also, on the inside, there is a label that says that this hat is from the J.L. Hudson Company of Detroit, Michigan. Right now, we are transitioning into the summer months, so this will have to be packed away after I'm done filming. However, I cannot wait to wear it in the winter months. I know it will look fabulous with so many outfits, especially around Christmas. My next few items were all sent by the same subscriber. She always finds the best vintage items and I always get super excited when her Christmas package comes in. So the first piece that she sent me was this handmade pearl detachable collar. I've never seen anything quite like this collar. The intricate beading and the little dangling details at the front. I've just never seen anything like it. There is a tag on the inside that says this was handmade from Japan. So I'm guessing this was probably made sometime in the 1950s. The next piece she sent me is quite practical and a great everyday jewelry piece and it is this burnt orange colored Bakelite bracelet. Bakelite is a classic material. If you are a vintage collector, you probably know what Bakelite is, but it was a highly used plastic that was used, I believe, from around the 20s and 30s all the way into the 60s, 70s. These are quite collectible now, so it was quite a surprise to receive such a special gift. Also, this will be a fantastic piece for the summer and autumn months. The last items she sent me were these two scarves. The first one is... Uh, kind of striped with yellow stripes, sort of pinky purple stripe, and a very faint green stripe. The second chiffon scarf she sent me was a floral pattern with this geometric pattern in the center, and of course the colorway of green, brown, and blue. You can wear these for so many different purposes. You can wear them around your neck, you can put them around your hair to keep it safe from the elements, or if you sleep in rollers like I do, you can wrap them around your hair at night to keep the hair from getting ruined while you sleep. My last Christmas gift from a subscriber is this sort of ivory colored knit coat. I think you could call it a trench coat. I'm not really sure how to describe this piece. When I pulled this out of the box, I was 
a little bit nervous that I couldn't pull it off. I had no idea how to style something like this and I'd never worn anything like this before. But after a little bit of experimentation, the light bulb went off and I thought, wow, this will be a great staple piece. Next, I have some really cool pieces from the vintage clothing company Belle Epoque. I have worked for Belle Epoque before. I have modeled quite a few of their pieces and this time they sent me a huge amount of clothing to try on and to share with you. First, I have this faux leather black skirt. I believe they also have this in a brown color, but I like black. So of course I went with the black color option. Really nicely made. I know that this will last me a while. And I've been looking for a simple black leather skirt for so long. I adore wearing leather. It's just a wonderful material. The problem with leather is that it has to fit just right. So when I'm thrifting or even when I'm out at certain stores, they just don't have the right fit or size that I'm looking for. So that's the wonderful thing about Belle Epoque. They have a very wide size range. And the cool thing about this skirt is that it's a little bit stretchy. I wouldn't put my whole faith in the fact that this is stretchy. Try to get your right size, but if you need a little bit of give, this has it, which is especially nice when you're trying to walk or sit down. This also has pockets and not just like little pockets. You can put your whole hand in there, which is nice. And it comes with a complimentary matching belt. The rest of the pieces I picked out from Belle Epoque were focusing more on spring and summer. I'm trying to flesh out my spring summer wardrobe and acquire a few new pieces that will be both comfortable and cool, but also fit my aesthetic and my specific style. So, Bella Polk has these two shorts, and when I saw them, I immediately knew I had to try them. I picked out one white pair and one black pair of the same style and design. These are perfect. They are made mostly with cotton with a little bit of elastic on the waistband. They are the quintessential vintage short. They'll fit styles ranging from the 1930s to the 1950s. I was especially excited to find the black pair because it is nearly impossible to find a basic plain black short of any kind, let alone vintage. So I was absolutely thrilled with these. They're cool, they're comfortable, and I know I will get years of wear out of them. Next, I picked out this classic black dress that is sleeveless. I chose this dress because I wanted a blank canvas of a dress. I wanted a summer dress that I could accessorize with pretty much anything in my wardrobe. Most summer pieces have some sort of color or print. So when I saw this, I was excited because it's simple, it's plain, it'll be comfortable for the summer months, especially because it is completely sleeveless, and it will go with anything I want. You could even put a cardigan or a jacket over this and extend it into the cooler months if you wanted to. The fit is also classic. I like how it has some pleating in the bust area just to give the bust a little bit of shape. And at the bottom in the skirt, you have some box pleats just to accentuate that fit and flare style. My last piece from Belle Epoque is actually not one piece, it is two, but I purchased them to be a set. And it is a black peasant blouse matched with a black long peasant skirt. I'm a big fan of Western wear, so when I saw these two pieces, I immediately thought they would make a fantastic vintage Western wear inspired outfit. 
Obviously, with a wide imagination, sky's the limit, you could wear these with pretty much anything. You could wear the top with some gauchos, you could wear them with a big Mexican circle skirt. The skirt you could wear with a cowboy shirt or some sort of western blouse, and of course paired with some cowboy boots and a hat. And don't forget that I do have all of these pieces linked in the description box below and a discount code to go along with it. So be sure to use that when you check out to get a percentage off your order. And a big thanks to Bella Polk for sending me all of these wonderful items. Next, I have a pair of shoes from the company Vivea. Now, Vivea did not sponsor this video and they don't even know that I'm making a video about their products. They kindly sent these to me as a thank you for some work that I did for them last year. It just really touched me to be respected, to be thanked, and to go the extra mile and send a thank you gift was just above and beyond my expectations. And what made this gift even extra special, beyond just the generosity of saying thank you, was the fact that these were a pair of shoes that I had originally wanted in one of the collaborations I did with them. However, they were out of stock at the time, and we picked out other shoes and I set to work promoting them. However, when I opened the email saying that they were sending me an extra pair of shoes as a thank you, they mentioned that they had restocked the pair of shoes that I had originally wanted and they were going to send me a pair of those shoes. So the pair of shoes I received was the Natasha Heel in Black. This is a very classic looking shoe. It will go well with more 50s and 60s looks or contemporary if you have a more contemporary classic style. It has a diamond print on the toe, a bow and a tan rim at the top, and of course their classic aerodynamic heel. Like I've mentioned before, I always like the fact that they are sustainably made. They are always working to have these be comfortable shoes that are made from recycled materials and with the least amount of waste possible. Next, I have all of the items that I purchased myself over the past six or seven months. The first thing I purchased was this short-sleeved Alfred Dunner floral blouse with the color palette of white, gray, and black. I wanted a floral print that I actually liked, which is pretty rare, and I wanted something summery, but again, another basic piece. This one fit the bill perfectly. It is casual, it is comfortable, it still fits that vintage feel. I mean, you could style this in a 30s style, a 40s style, or even a 50s style, and it would fit perfectly. Also, you could match this with a brightly colored skirt or brightly colored accessories, or keep it plain and simple in a monochromatic style and pair this with a black pair of shorts or a black skirt. Next, I have some hats. If you've been following my channel for a while, you may have noticed that I am quite a big fan of hats and I always have been.
Next, I have some accessories starting with this little detachable veil. I have been wanting to add veils to some of my hats, but I, I didn't want to do what some people do where they just glue a veil onto a hat or sewing is a little bit better, but still it's not quite reversible all the time. I wanted something that was 100% reversible and if possible, reusable as well. So I saw these on Amazon and they had little clips on either side. So I thought, what if I just use the clips to clip to the inside of the hat? And that way they would not only be reversible, but I could mix and match this veil with different hats. Lo and behold, it actually worked. So if you want to try this trick out as well, I will see if I still have the link to this veil and I will put it in the description box below as well. Moving on to jewelry, I have just a few new jewelry pieces. The first is this Art Deco sort of Southwestern inspired brooch. This is from the 80s. I actually collect pieces from this specific brand. Unfortunately, the brand is now defunct, but whenever I see these pieces, I collect them. So they are not only an addition to my general jewelry collection, but they are also an addition to a specific brand collection. Last but not least, I have a set from the same company that I mentioned I collect. I was able to find a pair of earrings and its matching brooch. I always like it when I am able to put sets back together because these were from different shops and I was able to finally put the sister brooch back with its sister earrings. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I would love to know if you have had any successful shopping trips recently and I would love to know what you found if you did. If you would like to support me and my work, you can like, comment, or subscribe. And if you would like to financially support me and my work, you can become a monthly patron through my Patreon page. On Patreon, you will have a more intimate relationship with me as a creator, and you will get exclusive content, behind the scenes sneak peeks, and more. If that interests you, be sure to check out my Patreon page in the description box below or at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching.